Excitement levels have certainly been ratcheted up here at Turf Moor. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary on this game is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Burnley facing Leicester City. Yeah, thanks, Derek. I'm just hoping we get a nice, quick tempo from the start of this game. Both teams do like to get forward, both positive in their approach in the game. So we should be in for some entertainment. Number 13, Jeff. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him? Well, he's got amazing finishing ability, and when a player's got that, it means you have to go that extra yard tighter. And when you do that, you leave space behind you, so he puts the defender in two minds. this the initial 11 for Burnley it looks pretty orthodox Lee yeah I love this formation 4-4-2 the two main strikers will stay close together the full backs will link up with the wide players the two holding midfielders will sit in front of the centre backs very solid look about this team thank you enjoy the game well, here's how Leicester City will line up Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts Ricardo Pereira plays with Ben Chilwell in the fullback positions. And this man is usually good for a goal or two. Leading the attack is Jamie Vardy. And the game begins. Rodriguez. Cork. Westwood Lotton pure ball control plenty of forward momentum here but can they produce Chowdhury James Madison Madison with it couldn't keep it Vardy Jamie Vardy now. Madison with it. Vardy. Tielemans. A brisk start and a quick goal. Well, the manager would have said, keep it tight at the back and see if you can nick an early goal. And they certainly have done. Well, let's see that again. Oh, he's so sweetly hit. Look at his technique. Absolutely brilliant. He's got the power. He's got the accuracy. And now he's got himself a goal. The match has restarted. 1 0 here. James Tarkovsky. Lotton with it. Ashley Westwood on the ball. Westwood. And that was a very fine read. Chowdhury Vardy Madison not a particularly strong challenge a very good tackle Rodriguez McNeil Wood with it well, the timing of the pass, that little bit off. Dennis Bryant. Throw-ins given. Westwood. 
Jay Rodriguez. Hendrik. It looked as though he might have been onside, but he was just a fraction off. No, oh, I'm not so sure. I'd like to see that again. And it's with Hendrik. And very deftly cut out. Well, as we can see, Leicester have hardly had the ball. But they won't mind. They're winning this game. And why? Because their counter-attack is absolutely fantastic. McNeil. Me. What a shocking pass, really. This might have potential. And teammates to play it to. Can he take advantage? Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now, and the lead fully merited. Well, it's good build-up, but there's one player standing in front of the goal, and it falls to him, and he's not going to miss from there. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room, if it stays like this, Derek, he's not happy. Just look at him. So, 2-0 now. That's the City goal. Number nine, Jimmy Vardy. Jeff Hendrick going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. A chance maybe from the wide position. It needs an accurate cross. And punched away. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Cork. Westwood. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Not to be too blunt about it, but this has been a struggle for him up front, Lee. Yeah, he struggled to get the ball in the right areas. I think you could put that down to his teammates a little bit. The service he's got is not up to scratch, but he's also not creating enough space for himself, not making. Really tense battle so far, and now the second half is underway. And Jose Perez with it. Ricardo Pereira. Here's Tielemans. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Tielemans. Here's Tielemans. Madison showing patience as well. Oh, surely. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, the keeper will be frustrated. He thought he'd saved it. He's so unlucky there. It's a good angle from him as well, but it's in the back of the net. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, all the day's frustrations are there for all to see. The coach needs to try and turn this around and quickly. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. Westwood. And it's with Hendrik. Rodriguez losing possession a bit easily.
An abundance of space. Chilwell. And in the end, he's run out of space. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Tarkovsky. Taylor. Ben Mee. Jack Court now. Westwood. And it's with Hendrick. Cork. Westwood. A chance to whip it in. They've regained possession. Here's Tielemans. And providing width. And across the touch line, so a throw in here. Substitution time it is. Ashley Westwood on the ball. Ben Mee. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Jay Rodriguez. Whatever it takes to keep them out. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Into the advanced position. Wood with it. Well, they have it again. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. McNeil and Skull for the cross. Alas, a wild, wild attempt. Well, after that effort, I'm not sure whether he's right or left footed. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Yamari Gray. Substitution for Burnley. Coming off the pitch, number 13, Jeff Henry. Coming onto the pitch, number 12. Robbie Brady. Mendy. Madison with it. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Mendy. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. And can he deliver accurately? That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And five minutes to go. Now can they counter clinically? This looks promising. He has time to play it over. It was so near! Well, that's counter-attacking football at its best. Just needed to finish to cap it off. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Three minutes of added time. And Chris Wood. McNeil. From so far away, it didn't appear to be the high percentage option. Close, though. Well, he surprised everybody, including me. Long-range effort, and it wasn't too far off, was it?
over this man's work, positive after positively. Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad, and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is.